Zuda of Pastiche again here with the Loot Crit. This time we're looking at Loot Crit. I think this one is speed, speediness, fast, vehicles, going to travel, going to move. We gotta run, we gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. What we got inside here? All right. This looks like a little bit interesting. Of course, we're going to grab the teacher, and we're going to go out to the wine! How's it going, guys? It's nice to see you again. Thank you very much for coming back to another episode of Blue Crits here on Past Teacher Skin. I am sick as a dog. Um, I've been sick for a couple of days now, and these crates arrived, and I had to actually get them out as fast as possible so that you guys can get to enjoy them. And of course, I'm still a little bit nasal and throaty and everything else. So, sorry about that, but we'll get through these pretty quick. All right, let's see what we've got in this one. Ooh! Check this one out. Stark Industries. So this is actually the race car team from Iron Man 2. I'm starting to notice a little bit of a, um, I don't know, like a bit of a, not a retro vibe, because the um, last DX crate had a Iron Man 2, oh not the last DX crate, but a couple of DX crates back, it had an Iron Man 2 action figure that was actually the briefcase suit, uh, suit that he actually wears in Iron Man 2. And now they've got a t-shirt from Iron Man 2. So it always feels like remaindered stock from some previous promotional campaign materials that they just never got around to getting rid of or they just kind of find a oh we'll sell them to these guys and then we'll get rid of them pretty quick but yeah this is actually not too bad black t-shirt uh, the print design is reasonably good it is what is this sifsun.com are the ones who actually did the design and see it work on this I'm not too upset by that that's actually not too bad you know black t-shirt simple design stark industries race team. I'll wear that, but I'm not too massively fussed about it. I don't... Uh, it's, it's not it's, it's not really memorabilia-wise, it's not actually like massively kind of impressive. It's just more more stuff, more t-shirts. I'm, I'm completely lost my love for the Loot thing. Let's see if I can actually find something that I like, can't get in here. So what else is here in the box? What is this? Okay. Batwing Keychain from Batman. So... Uh, this is QM that actually did this. In the moonlit night of Gotham City. The Kim Crusader keeps watch from the cockpit of the Batwing. With his menacing silhouette, the bat stealth of aircraft strikes fear into the villains who walk the streets of Gotham City. Alright, so... <laughs> it is, it's, uh, I honestly thought it was going to be the Batwing from the more recent movies, but no, it's the original Batwing. It is the Batwing from the good old days. The really, really original one. Like that one from the um, 1989 movie. The one that actually like did the whole like up in front of the sky. You know, I use my face as the sun or the moon. Dun, 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 dun. Doing the logo. Um, pointy, sharp, not the best keychain in the world. You don't want to grab this while you're grabbing your keys because there are sharp bits that will stab into your hand. As a keychain, absolutely pointless. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you won't, you won't lose it because you'll feel it in your pocket every single time you sit the fuck down. But um, yeah, I'll probably never use that as a keychain, but I'll hang it up somewhere and make it look pretty nice and pretty. But Batman memorabilia, that's cool. So essentially, we're going, we've definitely got a feeling of vehicles this time around. So what do we got next in the vehicles to look at? Ooh, Eleanor. Everybody has their Eleanor. Gone 60 seconds, man. Uh, that was a good remake film. I really enjoyed it. Nicolas Cage was good in it. And Eleanor, the vehicle, the car, was, <laughs> it was property. <laughs> it was gorgeous. It's a sexy ass fucking car. The state that's in by the time the movie's finished, uh, it's a junker properly, but yeah, what is it? The 67 Custom Mustang. Yeah, that was some good car stunts in that film. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's one of those movies that I'll go back and rewatch again, partially because I really, really, really like Angelina Jolie in it. This is the dreads, the, the dreads and the insinuations of uh, shifting your gear stick. They do it for me. Between her and that and hackers, that, that's like that's that's my sweet spot for Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Not the Lara Croft. Definitely gone Sway. And um is it, her name is Sway in it. Sway or Shway? Because it makes me think of Batman Beyond, so that's how way it relates into this. Can we make Shway a thing? Shway it's it, Sway it, Shway was one of the, like the, the catchphrases, one of the like turns of phrase from Batman Beyond. I wish it was actually something the kids picked up on. So, what else we got next? We got hood ornaments. Check it out. So, yeah, magnetic hood ornament for the car. My girlfriend got one of these as well. She got the flash one, I got arrow. I think the arrow one actually looks more impressive. It's um, it's a hoodie ornament. You know, let's see, you better look at it on the back and you see the two of them in comparison. Yeah, uh, I don't own a car. <laughs> so uh, I will find a use for this, I'm sure. Um, although, admittedly, it, what's the warning on this? It does say something warning-wise. Uh, yes. 
Items should not be used on moving vehicles with sustained speeds of 75 miles per hour or greater. Because it's probably going to come off and smash your windscreen. Um, it doesn't feel like it's metal, it's definitely plastic. But it looks reasonably well made. Uh, detail wise, you can tell who it is. I mean, I'm not exactly looking for facial accuracy. I mean, even <laughs> the, the winged angel in the front of BMWs and stuff don't actually have that. Is it BMW? What's one that has a winged angel? Rolls Royce? Rolls Royce winged angel, isn't it? Anyway, on to more stuff. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at this. Titan action figure for a alien, well, not an alien ship, but a Cylon ship from Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Cylon Raider. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm curious. Ooh, they actually have a So Say We All collection as well. I like that. <laughs> A little bunch of bobbleheads and stuff, or not bobbleheads, but uh, like adorb kind of faces. I think I, I think I have one that's like of that design from Titans. Probably is that what my predator is? I think my predator was a Titans figure, which makes sense. If this is actually, if, I don't know if Titans is Titans as in the same as the comic label Titan or not. Um, the pro, the publishing label Titan, which do uh, 2000 AD, uh, used to be associated with Dark Horse Comics and did all of the uh, Predator and Alien stuff as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if they had the rights to someone like this. Oh, hit that. Hit that really thin cardboard kind of like sleeve in the inside. It does not but get in the way. Right, what have we got here? We have a small invisible stand, of course. Look at this. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I see. I have seen worse figures, mostly from that uh, really... Uh, what do you call that company that I actually I didn't like the design of for their... Um, I completely eliminated them from memory. Chronicle. A lot better than the Chronicle design. Um, I like the detailing on it. There is a couple of battle damage marks on the vehicle. And the sailing ship has a big scar across its face, which looks pretty cool. It looks biological, actually. It really does. Are, are the ships from... Are the sailing ships actually biological? I don't remember them being biological. Maybe that's just rust or whatever that's on them. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's a nice figure. It might go up on the shelf next to... Um, what, what, what exactly is it? It's actually worth putting it next to. Maybe the, the hoverboard. The hoverboard makes sense. It's right about the right scale. Um, but yeah, that's actually not too bad. I like that one. That'll start galactic again. Never was a massive fan of the show. I uh, enjoyed it, but didn't really uh, get into it. The same as um, like some of my friends did. The show got very religious. Very, very um, like poignantly religious by the tail end of the finish. And I was like, and I'm done. Uh, felt like a bit of a preachy message at the end. Of course, we have our loot pin for this month, which is a tire screeching. Bit of a hot roddy kind of thing going on. I like that. Um, yeah. That was Loot Crate for the month of September. Let's see what they had in the booklet. Of course, Speed. Uh, Q&A with Wonder Woman artists. Right. Speed series trick hours and bat gadgets are mine. Are you asylum? Well, the fact that the crate itself is meant to be a Transformers crate in its own way. It transforms into something else. I, I'm trying to remember... Oh good. Oh good. They had three choices. There was re red, blue, or green. I end up red. Okay. And determine which car will win. So they're sharing photographs. So you compete with each other to see which one uh, gets publicized the most. Flash hood ornament, or arrow hood ornament. Um, list of trick arrows from the comics. Uh, question series to ask if your friend is a Cylon. Star Industries racing team. Well, a very pretty model. Like you wear it as well. Love that hair. Looks good. Uh, ridiculous superhero velo the vehicles. Uh, Batwing keychain, yeah, gone 60 seconds. Um, yes, so the comic book for this month, I actually, uh, my girlfriend, I saw this in her booklet before I actually looked at it myself. The comic booklet that you get for free with the download of this, and making sure there's no code, yeah, it's online, so don't have to worry about it. But the free comic book is Velocity from Top Cow Comics. Velocity, I remember, she's actually, she's a speedster. Um, and Top Cow was one of those comic labels that I used to read back in the 90s whenever the, there was. A big push on all of them. I mean, Valiant were big, Top Cow were big, Malibu, all those kind of guys were still floating around. And um, Top Cow, of course, never went away, but they, of course, downscaled and stuff. I liked uh, Whiplash and Velocity and whatever team they were in. The first time I ever saw her as a character was in a Spider-Man Whiplash crossover where it was... This is during the Clone Saga, so none of it's canon anymore anyway. But um, it was Ben Reilly ran into uh, the characters from the Top Cow universe. So, yeah. I actually like the character. I thought she was interesting. I'm looking forward to reading issues one to four. Um, yeah. Well, no, it's like pilot season and also it's like five comic, but five issues of the comic all together for me to check out. I like the character. I like female. I, I like female speeders. I like female superheroes. So I'm looking forward to reading. Um, so it's a, it was our free gift for this one. 
So what have we got in here? Uh, Loot Crate at San Diego, they had crates that they were selling at the uh, stands. Obviously, we don't get the stuff from their exclusive crate. Yeah. Uh, talking about uh, the Flute for Fangirls crate. All uh, right. So the Fangirls crate, I thought, was just uh, the dress. They didn't explain or didn't imply that there was more in it. It actually looks like a pretty cool crate. Um, cool dress with a bunch of the lady superheroes from Marvel. Uh, bombshells, Wonder Woman minifigure. My girlfriend is going to fucking kill me. Oh man, nah, she would have really wanted that. Well, looks like I'm going online to go and find myself some. I'm going to have to be able to find a copy of that somewhere. Whoops, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> Should have picked one up. Um, loot anime for this month is going to be Demi Human and of course Epic Loot for Wearables. The Mega Crate this month was, oh, it looks pretty impressive as well. The Mega Crate would have been uh, the Stark, yeah, the Stark's chest symbol, a statuette of the main characters, the entire run of Battlestar Galactica, a massive TV, and a PlayStation 4 with Batman Arkham Knight on it. That's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool uh, Mega Crate. I wonder who actually won it. Looks like I will be, um, Looking on more crits. I didn't win the Mega Crit, of course. And we'll see what happens at some point. At some point I may just win it. That'll be a, that'll be a very interesting video. I'm sure there'll be a lot more people watching them because of people wanting to see the unboxing of them. But yeah, this has been the uh, Speed Crit for the month of uh, September? No. August. Is this the August Crit or September Crit? It'll be the September Crit because uh, we're nearly through September. Um, so yeah, not, not massively fussed on the contents. Uh, not massively excited. But I'm glad to actually... Um, get it that's uh, like I'm, I'm like at this point now I've kind of lost all kind of humor for getting excited about the crates they uh, it's it definitely feels like clearinghouse materials in a lot of cases unless it's one of those like specially dedicated crates I do have a bone to pick about the Marvel crate and the WWE small crate being America only uh, those are ones that are actually like specified crates that I'm actually really interested in Halo I wasn't quite as interested in because I'm not even a not even a, an Xbox gamer anymore I used to be and I used to be a Halo fan, but I don't even play it that much anymore, but I still actually bought the crate for the purposes of doing the unboxings here on the channel. But they can't provide any um, Marvel or Slam crates to the UK, which is really disappointing, which means I'm going to miss out on this one. And if they do ever bring it in, I'll be one crate behind, of course. But um, whatever. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of half, no longer enamored with the whole crate culture. I think the subscription crate has gone a little bit over the end. Um, there's no point getting excited about any of these. So guys, I'm gonna have to head here. It's been an absolute pleasure, thank you very much for watching. I just wanna say, eat my fucking dust. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.